Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about what I was looking forward to. Uh, this thing that I brandish all the time about Science News doing a big five-page article on vitamin D, the last word, everything I thought would be really interesting, and it wasn't. It was filled with all the reasons scientists disagree, but the last part, the little summary that was done was best of all. They talk about the fact that the big thing that vitamin D does is to work on the genes. The real problem is vitamin D works on tissue, but all we talk about is blood levels. It just misses the whole topic that we want to resolve. And then they say, well, what does it do to the genes? Well, they're real clear in the fact that you have 200 genes that are either turned off or turned on by vitamin D. And that makes it impossible to do a double-blind study. A double-blind meaning two variables, the big thing and the placebo. This is, in, is preposterous that we could get a double-blind study out of this. And then it goes on to the last paragraph to say, well, it's too, too really risky to do anything like this because it's not just 200 genes, it's 2,000 plus genes. So we're going to have to wait for a few centuries till we clear up what's needed for vitamin D and what can be done with your vitamin D. So when you get into this situation, we really realize you're never going to see something quickly about vitamin D that you can take home.